Hello children. Welcome to the new video Picture Composition 2. In the previous video on the same topic, you have learned what picture composition means and how it is done. Today in this video, we are going to take up an example and learn something more about picture composition. Today, we are going to write a composition based on a picture together. So, before starting to write, let us observe the picture carefully and write a composition together. Children, you can now see a picture on the screen. A similar picture was given to you in your worksheet to write a composition on. The same kind of picture we have taken up in this video. So first of all, let us make a list of things that we see in the picture. For doing that, you have to observe the picture carefully. The first thing that comes to mind is this is the scene of a birthday party. We can see a cake. We see some children, we can see some drinks on the table, then we see balloons. We also see colorful cupcakes, we see the decorations, we see that there are some gifts on the table and so on. Based on the picture that we see, let us ask some questions. The answers to the questions you can note down in a rough zone. The first question that comes to the mind is, what is happening in the picture? The answer is, a birthday party. The next question is, who do we see in the picture? So, we can say that we see many friends. Third question is, how is the place decorated? And we can say that it is decorated with balloons and banner. We can see the banner of birthday on the back and lots of balloons can also be seen. Now, another simple question that comes to our mind is, how is the cake? Obviously, if it's a birthday party, it's supposed to be a cake party also. So, the answer is, it is a big cake and it has seven candles on it. The next question that comes to the mind is, what do we see on the table besides the cake? So, the answer can be, we see a jug and some glasses filled with an orange drink. We also see some cupcakes and we can also see a few gifts. Now, the last question, the concluding question can be, how are the children looking? So, we can say that some of them are wearing party caps and all of them are looking happy and they seem to be enjoying themselves. So, in this way, first we have to ask some questions to ourselves after observing the picture and try to find out the answers. The answers that we find are to be noted somewhere in the rough page so that we can frame a paragraph based on the sentences. After noting down the answers somewhere of all the questions that come to our mind after seeing the picture, we will start to write the composition. The first thing to write in the composition is the title of the composition. We have to give a suitable title to any composition that we write and the title should match to what's happening in the picture. Since this is the scene of a birthday party, the title that we will give to this composition is a birthday party. So, first of all, the first thing, the first sentence of the composition 
should always be the introduction sentence in which we introduce what the scene is about. So since this is a birthday party scene, we are going to write the first sentence as this is the scene of a birthday party. Several friends have gathered to celebrate their friend's birthday. The room is beautifully decorated with banner and balloons. There is a big birthday cake that has seven candles on it. There are also some cupcakes and orange juice on the table. Some friends have also brought gifts with them. All the children are happy and enjoying the party. Now, you must have observed that in this composition that we have written, the first sentence is the introduction sentence. Then, after the introduction sentence, the content of the composition comes in which we describe the picture. We describe what is happening in the picture. It is always easier to write the question answers first so that with the answers that we get, it becomes a very easy task to write the composition. As in this composition, we have simply used the answers and noted them in a logical, meaningful manner to make it a paragraph. The last sentence of the composition is the concluding sentence which concludes the scene. So, in this particular composition, which is a birthday party, the concluding sentence is, all the children are happy and they are enjoying the party. Let us have a quick recap of points to remember while writing a picture composition. First, Observe the picture carefully. Number two, ask some questions based on the picture. Number three, compose the sentences in a proper sequence to describe the picture. So, there you go. As simple as that. Children, hope you enjoy this video and you have learned how to write a picture composition. So, keep watching and keep learning.